Well, it's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week, and we saw a pretty great day today as we went through the afternoon. Started seeing some isolated showers pop up in the southeastern corner. Now, as we head into our evening, a lot of those showers are getting ready to push off to the east and southeast as we continue through the overnight hours. Those showers and clouds will clear out tonight, leaving us with mostly clear conditions as we start off our Thursday morning. However, clouds are quickly going to move back in as we head into Thursday afternoon and evening. We may also even see some more isolated showers showers across the southeastern corner and northwestern corner. Nothing too heavy. However, there is that chance of seeing some rain. These showers heading out of Thursday into Friday will clear out. However, the clouds, those are going to stick around. We are going to see plenty of those clouds hanging out with us as we head overnight Thursday and into Friday. By Friday morning, that's where we're going to uh, start to see more of that change in our weather. More heavy showers making their way back into our forecast. Those showers will start off in the western half of the state and slowly work their way inching across the state. As we head towards the afternoon, they'll push their way towards the northwestern corner and then expand across the state as we head over the late afternoon and into the early evening hours. Showers across the southern half of the state. More of a scattered pattern here in the southeastern corner as we head and towards Friday evening, more dense, heavy showers over in the southwestern corner as we continue our way into Friday evening. As we finish off this evening, though, we are seeing that general thunderstorm risk across the southern half of the state, southwestern and southeastern corners, both seeing that risk. However, like I mentioned, a lot of those showers are continuing to make their way out, so we shouldn't see very many more of those as we continue through tonight. Now, tomorrow, we have a kind of weird shape here. We're seeing just a cutout across the eastern half of the state into the south and central portion of the state where there's absolutely no risk of seeing anything crazy tomorrow. The northwestern half of the state and southeastern corners are continuing to be under that general thunderstorm risk as we head through our Thursday. Now temperatures are going to be warming up as we head through the last couple days of our week thanks to this warm front situated here across the plains, but a cold front going to work its way back in as we continue over Friday and into the weekend. That's also going to bring cooler temperatures, more rain, and more clouds across the Cowboy State. Now, smoke is sticking around, especially as we head overnight tonight and into our Thursday. Light to moderate smoke will make its way up towards the northeastern corner as we continue into our Thursday afternoon. Now, here's the good news. Once we've reached that part, a lot of this smoke is going to begin to lighten up, especially as we head overnight Thursday and throughout our day on Friday. And we're not seeing any watches, warnings, or advisories across the state this evening. We have a fire weather warning off to our northwest and an air quality warning off to our south. But luckily, nothing happening within the Cowboy State. Mild temperatures tonight, 50s and 60s. 59 is our low for Cheyenne, 62 for Wheatland, and 55 for Laramie. Temperatures tomorrow, they're going to be hot. We're seeing mid-80s to triple digits. 100 for Scotts Bluff, 102 for Torrington, 99 for Wheatland. Laramie, and staying at a relatively nice 86 degrees. For Cheyenne, we will see temperatures increase to the 90s Thursday and Friday, dropping to the low to mid 80s over the weekend into next week. Plenty of chances of seeing more rain showers over the next 10 days in the rest of our southeastern corner. Hot summer temperatures sticking around. Larry saying the coolest spot in the 70s and 80s.